What's going on guys, my name is Kerry and today I'm gonna to show you the entire process of how we went from here to here. If you're in the market for a new manufactured home and wanna see a project unfold from start to finish, you've come to the right place. It all started with a foreclosure that had some serious damage to it and because of the damage, we decided to demo that house and bring in a new one. The lot itself is really nice in a great area but it's an odd shape. It's really wide and shallow. So the 66 foot single wide we would normally do was out of the question. In the early planning stages, we were flipping back and forth between doing a double wide or a small single wide. We got the house cleared out and prepped the lot for either a three bedroom, two bathroom, small double wide or a tiny-ish style single wide. Then I asked the good people of YouTube for feedback. And this is the one where I'm still tossing around a few ideas. I could fit up to about an 1100 square foot double wide home on here, but I'm also toying with the idea. So you'll sit out here and look, that'll be your front yard there. It's the driveway up there. Um, the other thought I had for this was go the route more of a tiny home. So one bedroom, maybe two, and one bathroom and just see how affordable we can get something so for people that are downsizing first-time home buyers or people retiring wanting to move to the area you know do a one bedroom maybe 600 700 square feet but nice and you still got the yard and still have your own space you're not sharing walls with people um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a market for it here. It seems to be getting really popular. You see all the TV shows popping up on HGTV. Um, so I could do a three bedroom, two bathroom, double wide with a higher price point or go the small route, tiny home-ish size and just see if there's any interest there. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. What do you think of tiny homes or smaller footprint homes? 100% of the people who responded wanted to see a small single wide. At that time, I was just starting my channel, so 100% of like four people who watched the video wasn't much, but it was enough for me. I looked through the floor plans and decided on a 16 wide by 44 foot long, two bedroom, one bath. Then I added two feet to the width and a half bath, and the rest is history. I placed the order, started calling it the tiny mansion, and waited for the home to show up. When it did, I was really excited about how it turned out. And by that point, I was about 75% sure that we'd made the right decision. The very first look at the tiny mansion. Like I said, this is 44 feet long, the same length as a park model, but instead of 12 feet wide, this beast comes in at 18 feet wide. So this is the back of the house. That's originally where we had the window, but we moved it to the side wall to take advantage of those nice views we've got over on the lot. I'll show you the lot real quick at the end of this, but there we go. That is where all the views are gonna be right out there. That's the living room and dining room kitchen area. There's a bit of frost on the window, but let's see if we can have ourselves a quick sneak peek kind of see in there a little bit so we've got stainless steel nice open concept on that side yeah I like the way that's looking so we've got light by the front door that'll go on after and that window there is to the half bathroom in the master so we just wanted to let a little bit of natural light in but obviously being a bathroom didn't want anyone being able to see inside so that's the reason it's so small and frosted let's look at the front front window looking out the master bathroom that'll face the road so i think i added some hot lights to the eve on this one at the end so long ago i can't even remember what i ordered i'll have to go through and see exactly what's all in this thing yeah there it is we've got an LED pot light in the eave on either end of the house. Just thought that would be a cool look. Let's back up and take a look at this thing in all its glory. So there comes the house and where we're going is right over here. And this is where we might get some trouble. 
we've got a bit of a steep slope to get it in and then it's gonna sit right there with the view out that way okay here we go they've got the house this is where we're gonna find out if we're having any problems is it's a little bit steep the wheels are close to the back of the house so that should help us but we're wondering if it's gonna the frame's gonna dig in when it gets to the bottom of the driveway here here we go the moment of truth I think it's gonna be fine look at that lots of space we were worried for nothing too easy back wheels are right off the ground <laughs> there's like three no two feet of clearance there so don't really think we're gonna have any problems and get a good look at all the windows on the front of this thing there's gonna be so much natural light in it I think this is going to be a pretty quick one although if he does have to wiggle it around to get it in uh, exactly where we want it that's where we might run into a bit of trouble okay here it comes Jason seems to hit the mark almost first time every time so there's a good chance that this is going to happen pretty quick for us Go down and check the other side. It's December 3rd today, so the fact that there's very little snow on the ground is a bit of a miracle in itself. So we moved all the windows to this side because that's where the yard is out that side. Okay, there's the water line. And there's John guiding him in. can't get over how much clearance we had coming down because we've gone in with our utility trailer and it digs in but I guess the house is quite a bit higher that is just such a cool little house I can't can't wait to get inside Whew. Very nice. After the home was delivered and set up, I decided to steal all the furniture out of the office to stage the tiny mansion. One, so it would look good in the listing photos, and two, so that anyone that viewed it in person would be able to get a feel for what it would be like when they're actually living in it, rather than just looking at an empty house. At this point, I once again asked YouTube for feedback to help me decide which furniture layout looked the best. Thinking back, this truly was a group effort from start to finish. As you can see, if you watch the staging video, I went with option three. That had the most votes, so big thank you to everyone that commented on that video. I think it had 100 comments or something crazy like that. So what we've got is a corner kitchen. We've got the white cabinets. We've got the brown backsplash, stainless steel appliances, and this house is 18 feet wide by 44 feet long, so we'll just pan around. That's the living room kitchen area with windows out to the front yard. And if you head down this way, you've got a coat closet by the front door right across from bedroom two. We'll pop in there real quick. Window out to the other side of the home. Closet there, across from bedroom two is a spot for the washer dryer cabinets above and then back that way is the main bathroom with a tub shower unit 
And then at the end, we've got the main bedroom. We've got a closet back here. View of the mountains and the snow out there. And a half bathroom. So we've got a half bathroom right in here. There's that. All right, guys, we demoed the old house. We prepped the pad, ordered the new home, brought it in, set it up, built the deck, We've staged the inside. All that's left to do now is put it up for sale. This thing is move-in ready. So it hits the MLS tomorrow. We'll see what happens. When the tiny mansion hit the MLS, it ended up selling on the very first day. So I wanna say thank you to everyone that comments on my videos. I do take your feedback very seriously. I get so many great ideas from this channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure you subscribe because I've got a lot more coming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.